Well, I agree with you, Peter. When you said Agile can be used everywhere, that's why our shirts say Agile for all on them because that's the name of our company. We believe it everywhere. <laughs> you got to point to the right side, right? Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Real Agile or BS. It is me, Peter Saddington, with my great colleague, Bob Hartman. We love answering all of your awesome questions around Agile, Scrum, and all different types of frameworks. And today, we're talking about an interesting topic that is, I would say, relatively new, all things considered, in the Agile ecosystem and the Agile market. It's Agile HR. And so the question is, is Agile HR real Agile? Or is it BS? I'll let you take it away first, Bob. Sure. So let's make sure people understand HR is human resources. So Agile in human resources. We've heard of Agile in marketing. We've heard Agile in software development. We've heard Agile in a lot of different places. But Agile in human resources, Agile in HR is a fairly new one. Is it real Agile or is it BS? I think it's incredibly real Agile. I don't think, I'm, I almost don't think it gets any more real than that other than software development because it helps you find the right people. It helps you be aligned with your company's mission in an agile way. I think if HR departments can become more agile and more educated and agile at least, they can do a tremendous job helping their company be successful. One of the questions you and I both get, Peter, is one of the first things we get as consultants is, how do we hire people for these roles? Well, if the HR group doesn't know how to hire them, they don't hire them. They just hire the people they've always hired, which is not necessarily the right fit. So I think Agile and HR is going to be very big in the future. I know there are a number of people looking at it. I know even you looked at it a number of years ago, thought, hey, maybe there's a certification thing we should do here. I'm not sure I'm there yet, but I know that Agile and HR is a thing. I'm getting more inquiries about it, probably had three or four over the last few years. They kind of gag at the price to see, hey, you know, I, can't, I don't really want to spend that much to get my HR people trained. And yet they'll pay three times that to get a developer trained. So go figure. But I think it's got to happen. And I think it's got to happen soon, soon, because just too many companies are struggling with how to support, how do you, how do, you uh, do the compensation for an agile team effectively? Because it's not just merit based on what you do individually. Uh, how do you do the hiring? How do you do the team building of an agile team? All of those things are things that HR could help with. So is it part of the agile manifesto? Is it part of the scrum guide? No, but I think it's an integral part to making your agile work at your company. I think you're you're really being agile if your HR department is agile. How about you, Peter? I mean, you you already touched on it. I, I, this is something that I looked into years ago, actually. If I if I really think about it for a second, I think it was probably about five or six years ago. I really put together a pretty substantial framework for what I imagine to be agile HR, and even begun thinking about certification around it. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't execute on it is there just wasn't enough demand back five, six years ago. And, and I didn't receive nearly as much, which is still relatively low, inbound requests from HR personnel, HR hiring managers, recruiters, and this types of things. But I really see, just like you said, I really see Agile HR really taking off, maybe not this year, but at least in the next coming years for sure, as Agile continues to, uh, to grow, expand into other areas like marketing, obviously, I, th I actually, I would say that Agile's probably gotten into almost every aspect of business, period, at some level. Now, whether it's been saturated or whether it's, it's wholly used in particular market segments like HR or shipping products or these types of things. Um, is, is not something that I know about, but I know that Agile HR can be a real big boon to the organization itself. It's, it's, it's often interesting, I, I, I have found, and this is kind of, kind of harkening back to my, my research about five, six years ago looking into this. One of the things that really intrigued me about Agile HR is that we focus so much on team um, in Agile. And, and at least that's the, the generic viewpoint is we look so much at the team and how they're producing work or producing value. The question that I had is, how do we ensure that we have the right people? How do we ensure that we're hiring the right agile mindset you know, individuals and the people who understand this? Or how do we find the right people who are amenable to being trained and grow into this role? What, what, are, what are the HR personnel individuals, the HR hiring managers, recruiters, what do they need to know about agile? And what I found in my preliminary kind of testing and preliminary research is that at the time, five, six years ago, Agile HR was, no one knew about it. It was this unknown thing. And I saw that as a constraint. 
whenever I see constraints, I often see opportunities to do something and build something. And so that, that was the original kind of impetus around a Agile HR for me. Uh, but today I, I'm getting more inbound around Agile in, in, in human resources. And I still have questions around how to deploy it effectively. I think the values and principles of Agile can work everywhere. It, does, it can work in companies, it can work in your home, it can work in your family. It can work everywhere. The question that often arises uh, when I, when, um, around Agile HR is how do we do it, right? It's not the mindset that uh, we need to worry so much about because we can, we can communicate that, we can instill that, we can educate people around why thinking in an Agile way or, uh, is important and, and, and is a boon uh, to the organization. But the question often is how do we do it? Because it's like, you're not gonna hire someone using Scrum. Well, there are facets of iterative hiring process that you can leverage. And so what Agile HR really needs is a recontextualization of how Agile and its subsequent frameworks can be leveraged for HR. And I don't have a great answer for that, but maybe one of our community members or one of our commenters or viewers can give us a couple tips as to what you think uh, Agile HR should look like. But I truly believe that Agile uh, HR can be Agile, let me put it that way, uh, but it, uh, it's not BS. But the question is, is how do you deploy it and how do you apply it appropriately? Well, I agree with you, Peter. When you said Agile can be used everywhere, that's why our shirts say Agile for all on them, because that's the name of our company. We believe it everywhere. <laughs> you got to point to the right side, right? Um, yeah, so I think it's very easy to say Agile can fit everywhere. But when it comes to HR, there's some real specifics. How do you do compensation? How do you do hiring? And how do you grow the people? Mm -hmm. And those three things have to be done a little bit differently in an Agile world in order to support agility. If you don't do them any differently, then agility gets hurt. And I don't think people recognize that that bottleneck or constraint is actually hurting their agile teams in some way because it's not measurable because it's no different than it was in the past. Mm -hmm. But when you get those things right, the benefit to the team and the organization can be really huge. I'd be interested if anybody who watches this is part of a conference or an HR group and has some info for us. I mean, I'll put an offer out there on behalf of both of us. If they have a conference and need a speaker about Agile for HR, let's, we'll volunteer, we'll go, we'll talk, we'll, we'll be there, we'll do it virtually, whatever we have to do. But I think having people ha start to have the conversation more seriously is really needed. I think by 2025, it's not only gonna be needed, it's gonna be expected. So I, I think we need to get this ball rolling right now. So I'm just in radical transparency because that's something that uh, Bob and I do believe in is, is being as transparent as we possibly can. I think this is a moment for, for me to kind of share it. I, I think we should, we should make this video as part of a forum post on our Agile community site that you guys can check out <laughs> on agileforall.com. Click on the button Agile community. We're gonna post this into a forum and begin a discussion. Um, hopefully that's good for Google Juice as well. But it would be great to have anyone that is interested in Agile HR or is already deploying it and, and or maybe a contractor consultant that's helped companies do this. We'd love to get your insights as to how you're doing it and would love to have a conversation with you guys around it. So I'm going to summarize it up. I think Bob and I are completely in agreement. When it comes to human resources and HR, totally. Agile can be a big benefit to your, total, your overall organization. The question really is, is how do you contextualize it and deploy it appropriately for all the things that Bob had stated before. Thanks everyone for joining us in this episode of Real Agile or BS. Make sure that you check out the forum post in our Agile community at agileforall.com. Share, smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.